This is Robert Mondavi Oakville Cabernet Sauvignon 2013. So, you know, of course we know Robert Mondavi, right? And we also know that they make quite a few different wines, cabs. This one, to me, is, is very intriguing because the grapes are sourced entirely from their Tokalon vineyard. And Tokalon cabs are typically $100, $200 a bottle. And this one rings in at about half that. And it's like, um, I don't know. In some ways, it just kind of falls under the radar. I guess it doesn't say talk a lot on the label, but that's where they source 100% of the grapes. You've got 81% Cabernet Sauvignon in here. Um, big dose of Cabernet Franc follows that, about 13. And then something like 2% Merlot, 2% Malbec, 2% Petit Verdot. So all five are in here. They aged this in about 70% new oak for 22 months. So this is a wine that's that's made like a superstar Cabernet from, from you know perhaps the prime vineyard in Oakville, and uh, still <laughs> in a really sort of reachable price point, right? Hard to believe. 2013 vintage. Hard to beat that. All those good things going on. Yeah. Mm. Nice nose on this. It's like a little bit of um, sort of a dried cherry on here. Dried cherry, some cocoa. A little hint of licorice under there. Also, mm, like dusting of uh, cedar and tobacco. Mm. Let's try this. This comes across as really kind of nicely round, polished, but very, very concentrated. <clears throat> There's a real depth to it. You get some of those nice cassis cherry notes, along with some of that um, sort of savory spice notes, tobacco-y, chocolate on there also. and the tannins are really nicely polished but obviously this is a youngster this is a wine that really is going to show itself in another two or two or four years they make it so pretty so that you let it breathe and really enjoy the wonderful fruit flavors on here my advice would be to enjoy a little bit of it now but put some of it down for later Happy drinking.